everyone zeddy here again today with a brand new video and ladies and gentlemen oh man things are about to go down people are about to lose their minds there's gonna be a lot of happy people a lot of angry people because well play hearthstone has put out a teaser for the patch notes and i'm assuming the patch coming this thursday and as the title says theotar and hunter are getting nerfed in particular theater is we're gonna get into it we don't know exactly the details we could speculate i could give you the information i got but oh man people are gonna get mad but you know what's not gonna make you mad if you feel like i've earned your sub and drop a sub on the channel i really appreciate it okay that's my whole spiel that's my pitch because my god yes play hearthstone is changing the game on how they're announcing the balance patches the nerfs it used to be we got you know actual patch notes now we get an announcement of an announcement that contains an announcement like 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 what are we doing here hearthstone anyways patch 24.4.3 the numbers continue the patch notes are coming this thursday and lately they've been posting the notes and then like an hour later the patch um you can look forward to updates and just to be clear updates doesn't necessarily mean nerfs they could be buffing theotar to three mana and um whatever hair i got left i gotta pull out let's just do the crazy hair how about that that's the hair for theotar i like it <laughs> anyways uh look forward to updates of cards like theotar the mad duke the stag spirit wild seed the bear spirit wild seed and harpoon gun okay this hair is driving me crazy <laughs> um so yeah so all the wild seed cards are getting nerfed again um you're gonna be able to get dust on them or they're getting buffed or they're getting rebuffed i mean come on and th there could be buffs there could be other changes but this is what they've hinted at so we have the four cards so let's just take a quick look um what they are and because you might not be sure what wild sea cards are getting changed the implications and also you know our guesses so theotar i have suggested i i put out the suggestion the mad suggestion to take the discover off of this card so that it just randomly swaps i don't think they do that i think they do what they did to lucia remember lucia was like just absolutely disgusting was two mana and then they bumped her up to three and then they murdered her so what i expect to happen with theotar is he probably goes to five mana maybe they make him a four four as a little bit of compensation i wouldn't do that by the way because i am fine with disruption by the way i'm fine with dirty rat i'm fine with mutinous i'm fine with those type of cards but when it's this specific this selective this cheap and really doesn't require much like giving up another card let's be real it barely ever matters um I, I just think at four mana way too flexible let's try it at five again i'm just i'm speculating put your speculations in the comments below or if you're really mad they're cheating the other because it's the most polarizing card i have ever seen there are some people that are just furious that i even want it changed and then there's some people that are furious that it exists like it does it's an interesting one but yes i think the happy ground probably to start Make it five mana, go from there. Don't lose it yet. If it's still like just in like 50% of decks and does the things it does where it just makes me want to do what I did to my hair earlier, then go further. But yes, Theotar is changing or they're buffing it a couple. Please just don't, just don't buff it. Um, I will note that Denathrius was not on that list. Denathrius is one of the cards that Theotar helps keep in check. Although Theotar just steals anything. It's not even a combo killer. Hero card, value card. Okay, last I'm gonna talk about, but Theotar is not just combo disruption it's just everything disruption that's what triggers me about it where it's just it's just too good anyways uh denathrius uh, we haven't heard about it yet i'm still on the theory that if it's too good going into the next expansion or very early next expansion and it's like taking away from the new stuff which i doubt i'm sure the new stuff's gonna be utterly broken as it always is every single new expansion basically just makes the last one irrelevant that's been their mo forever but if it if that's the case they probably nerf it and it's it's a free card so it doesn't even cost them dust if that's even the issue so yes denathrius is on the list harpoon gun though is on the list just in case uh i'll link this tweet if you want to take a look um uh the harpoon guns on there i, I imagine just, it just goes back to two it just goes back to two they're not buffing this right like they're not it just goes back to reducing its cost by two they could take an attack off of it they could make it four mana but i don't know it, it was really good oh my god puberty just said in it was really good when it reduced cost by two um at three it's just been a little bit too much hydrolodon on four mountain bear on four you put it to two 
Mount Bear Hydro Element 5, still insane, still really good, but you know, tone it down. So yeah, I would imagine that's what's gonna happen. But again, we don't know, just speculating, but it's always fun to speculate. And yeah, the, the Wild Sea card. So do not disenchant any Wild Sea card you have. So like the Stag Charge, uh, Wild Spirits, Erewhon, uh, the Poacher, all the cards that summon Wild Seeds are going to give dust again. But this time they're not just nerfing one card, they're nerfing two. So the Bear Spirit Wild Seed, as mentioned here, Bear Spirit Wild Speed, uh, Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Uh, I imagine this loses a health. Like what, what else are you doing? I don't think you're removing the taunt. I don't think you're making it go, go, go dormant longer. I think just making it for health, making it a little, you know, easier to kill, I think is reasonable, right? And I could definitely see that being the change. I didn't predict this card to get changed. I thought they would just hit Wild Spirits, but they just want to keep micromanaging the Wild Seeds themselves, which is an interesting take. If anybody wants to crap on Blizzard for saying that they won't nerf a card because of dust, I, I just look at the Wild Seed cards. They they really don't care because every time they nerf one of these, uh, you're getting full d dust on epics, legendaries, and a rare. Like, it's just you know, I think they have multiple epics too. I think it's been proven that they don't just nerf because of dust, but yes, I would think this goes to a two, four, nothing too crazy. The one that's harder to predict for me, I'd be interested to hear you guys' takes on it. Uh, the stag spirit going, it's already been nerfed once. This originally gave a four, two great bow. It is now giving, well, it gives a three, two now. Do they nerf the weapon again? I would be very surprised. Like a two, two weapons crap. Like, I can't imagine that. What I imagine is this goes to a 4-3 or a 4-4, four, four. just making the body itself uh, a little less threatening, right? You could make it dormant for four turns, but it really kills the flavor of it, right? Like the one, the two, the three. So I don't think you're doing that. You're not taking the beast tag off. Making this cost more doesn't really do anything. I imagine this goes to a 4-4 four, four and probably call it a day. 4-3 is probably overkill. 2-2 two, two weapon, I think it was just would be dumb, would kill the card um because like again i don't personally have a thing against wild seeds i don't have a big thing against hunter i just think it's a little overtuned it needs just a little bit of an adjustment so like a little adjustment to this a little adjustment to harpoon gun and i think we're in a good spot and uh yeah i mean i imagine there will be buffs stuff to go along with this uh we haven't seen a balance patch without buffs in a while and warrior needs help like for real i think every other class is kind of getting by like rogues yeah borderline but i'm scared about buffing rogue we saw what happened last time but yeah warrior probably needs a little bit more help and hunter like once it gets dialed down a lot of stuff's gonna catch up in imp warlock i feel like they should hit something there too uh, it's a little bit scary but again we'll find out on thursday of course i'll keep you guys tuned on that while well, the day one patch review i'm assuming on friday and i'm gonna have a video tomorrow updating you guys on how to get some free stuff as well as reviewing more portraits a new nemesis in the shop get excited everybody Buddy, Nemzi's there. I'm going to review her tomorrow. You can see the emotes and the animation that's probably not there. That should be exciting. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, we should find out everything on Thursday. And um, yeah, Hunter, Hunter Stone might be coming to an end. And Theotar, well, we'll see if he's still making people mad. Uh, I mean, if you play him, he's going to make me mad no matter what. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Stay salty, my friends.